Hey everybody, so uh, I was on Netflix today and saw a new horror movie up called Satanic. And the front cover looked pretty good actually. So, so naturally I clicked on it. And disappointing. Just flat out disappointing. Uh, just get straight to that. Just so disappointing. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, let's see where to go. Okay, so the movie stars, not stars, but it's, the movie's about a four group of friends. Uh, Chloe and, okay, Chloe, character's name is Chloe, David, Seth, and Elise. Chloe and David are, are the one couple. Seth and Elise are the goth couple. <laughs> and they're, they're going to Coachella. And... Just in case you forget that, they mention it like 30 times, right? But Elise, who is Chloe's cousin, her and her boyfriend Seth, they're, they're you know, they're goth, like, oh, this evil, you know, like they want to go on a murder tour or whatever, how they explained it, I don't know. They want to, you know, go visit famous sites where like murders and deaths happen. In, uh, in Los Angeles, and I don't know why, but, you know, some people are into that, I don't know, and, <laughs> and really, like, the, okay, the movie's, like, 90 minutes long, and for the first, like, 45 minutes of the movie, nothing happens, it's all about the touring, like, and then the arguing, the back and forth, like, oh, don't get me wrong, like, I'm all for, I'm all for character developments and everything like that, you know, that's fine, but if there's no character development for 45 minutes of a, of a, of a movie that's 90 minutes long, except just, just Dave and Seth arguing back and forth with each other, and, like, <laughs> like, whoever was the writer for at least and Seth just, just needs to be slapped somewhere, because just f this, f that. You're, you're, you know, f this. You're. This is so effing lame. Like, like seriously. Like, who, who, who writes this and thinks that's a good idea? Unless they were improvising. Like, I don't know. And if it's improvising, then they need to go back to school. Sorry. Just you know. But uh, yeah. So they, so they go, they go into the uh, they go into a Satanist shop, like the evil shop, and they see all this, this cool stuff, I guess, for them, and then uh, Seth looks into the back and sees some ritual, something, up, like a part of a ritual going on, so, you know, he gets kicked out of the store, and, and I don't, <laughs> I don't know why, but their idea, but somehow they're like, yeah, it's a good idea to follow them, oh, they're doing a, they're doing a Satan ritual, let's go follow them, who, what, so they follow them, into into the woods into like this Satan ritual area and which they're about to do something to this uh girl, uh Alice. Yes, her name's Alice. And Chloe screams and you know they get caught and they get shot at. They honestly get shot at. So. <laughs> and oh, sorry, it's <laughs> yeah. So they so the girl who they rescued Alice finds, uh, sorry, Seth's phone, and he, uh, calls, and they meet up, and, you know, she's homeless, and then Chloe takes, takes them in, like, Chloe, Chloe is like, oh, she's homeless, she needs a place to stay, so they're, they're, they're at their hotel room, which, which actually is a, is a site of a murder that Seth and Elise specifically asked for, to stay into the room of a murder, of a murder victim, like, or a suicide victim, I don't know, it's stupid, so, Alice starts getting all weird, talking about, oh, hell is not a, not a real place, it's, it's just a state of confusion, or something like this, and, starts, talk, like, starts dancing, I mean, they're dancing together, she starts making out with Seth, then she starts making out with Lise, then, She's, she starts out of nowhere talking about, you know, the devil this, the devil that, and the murder victim or the suicide victim didn't 
just wanted to be seen or some, something like that. And then, uh, sorry, I, it's just, it just didn't make that much sense. So it was hard to explain. So, so okay, so David, Chloe's boyfriend. Now, he actually, uh, okay, so my, my biggest problem with this guy is, like, so he's the only one wearing a cross. Like, so obviously he's Christian, right? You're a Christian dude. You know, he even says that, you know, there's only one true God. And which Alice responds is, yes, that's true. And she's talking about the devil. But so, so Alice is like, let's join hands and just do something like, I'm sorry, I'm paraphrasing, but let's join hands and let's, let's see hell or let's, let's do something evil. And once again, paraphrasing, she didn't word it like that, but it's pretty obvious what she wants to happen. It's pretty obvious. Now, my issue with David is you're a Christian. Uh, you have a cross. You believe in Jesus. You believe in God. Why would you willingly do some type of satanic evil stuff? Like, that makes no sense as, as a Christian person. I, that's just stupid. <laughs> that is just very stupid. So then, you know, at this point, like, this is 45 minutes into the movie. And Alice, you know, she, she does something creepy. She does something in particular that I'm not going to spoil. Because it was literally the one of the only parts of shock value that the movie had. So I don't want to just ruin it so you expect it. But then so, you know, she, Alice is like, you know, I'll, I'll see you soon. We all did this willingly. I'll see you soon. Then, you know, fast forward like five minutes later, stuff starts to happen. Like, it goes from like zero to 100, like real fast. Like, just so much stuff starts to happen. Uh, like, the, the house just gets destroyed. The house that they're staying at gets destroyed. Uh, like, forks and stuff are in the ceiling. Like, birds are falling in, in the swimming pool. Just so much so much stuff starts to happen. And then, uh, you know, it's in, like, the last, like, 10 to 15 minutes of the movie, it, it's, I guess, it's where the satanic aspect comes in. I mean, Elise is in pain. She runs off somewhere. Seth is following her. You just hear Seth screaming. Yeah, you hear Seth screaming a lot, a whole, whole lot. And, I mean, I get that you want to go rescue your girlfriend, but, you know, this. I don't, if, if all this weird stuff is happening, like, Seth should have just stayed with Chloe and David, right? So, so then David disappears, and it's just Chloe by herself. And I'm assuming she's in this, this, I'm assuming she, like, they're, they're in hell now or something. I, I don't know. She, she's just in this room. It reminds me of, like, Hellraiser for some odd reason. And then she sees her friends and, oh, gosh. And, uh, and then you see this figure. Like, oh, okay, so she becomes, sorry, she, be, like, that, that on the front cover of the movie, that happens like in the last like two minutes of the movie. Like, like it's like really. So then you see this figure. You see this hand. This, this hand, is, and it, it looks it looks evil. I mean, the hand looks evil, and that's it. Like the hand strokes her face, and that's it. That's 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 whole that's whole entire movie. Like in a nutshell, like they don't show anything that's actually haunting them. All you see is a freaking hand. I. <laughs> It was such a waste of time. I mean, don't get me wrong. That that 10, 15, that ten to fifteen minutes was intense. You know, yeah, like it, it was intense because all the running and screaming. But at the same time, it was just running and screaming. Like do a abandoned building at that. Like, come on, you guys, be smart. <laughs> so yeah, the biggest the biggest gripe that I have with this movie is the fact that nothing happened for a good like half a movie, a little bit, little bit over, over half of the movie, and then, and then when start, when stuff started to happen, it wasn't even all that, like, good, <laughs> like, and then, like, the only best part of the movie was, like, last, like, 10, 15 minutes, and when I say best, I don't mean, like, ooh, wow, this is, the, this is, like, the greatest part of the movie, I mean, just the best part of the movie, you know, and the fact that they didn't even really show exactly what was haunting, I mean, what was after them, Except a freaking hand that I'm not gonna get over. It's a freaking hand. This is Smash Brothers, like seriously. And 
you know, it was just, it was just, it was just bad. I mean, just really, really, really bad. Uh, and I don't recommend the movie at all. Like, I really, I really don't. It's just, I don't know, the, the constant profanity, the, for no apparent reason, the, like, no, no, none at all. Like, if you want to use profanity in a movie, that's fine. If you want to write it in, in context, that's fine. But if you just, like, oh, I don't know what to say. Let's just write the F word here. Like, that's just stupid. That's, that's just dumb. And I'm never going to enjoy that. And, and I'm always going to talk down on you for it. Like, you know, as a, as a writer. But, you know, it's just a bad movie. And I don't recommend it at all. Like, you're like one out of five stars. Like, if, yeah. I mean, because like I said, the last couple minutes is, is enjoyable for the, for like the, the who, like what's happening, what's happening. But then there's no payoff because you don't necessarily see exactly what what is happening at all. Because when even even when they show like I'm, I'm, I'm like even when they show like what the chick looks like on the front cover with their mouth staple, they don't even really show it. It's just like one minute she's talking and screaming, then next minute like mm, stapled up. Like they didn't show anything. I mean. For for the for the uh, at the end to get you for the payoff they didn't so I don't recommend the movie at all so just don't waste your time that's not waste your time all right so uh that's it for me hopefully something good will come on Netflix soon and I'm thinking about getting Shutter uh, if anybody who's watching this knows anything about Shutter like new release wise uh just let me know you know comments all right good night.